Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to exam 360. So, we are going to continue our answer writing session. So, TSPSC group 1 geography. So, we will continue. So, the first question is intensity of the flash floods increased in India elucidate. Okay, intensity of the flash floods are increasing in India elucidate. Elucidate. So, So, see, first I will tell you the structure of the answer. First, the structure of the answer is Japan. Structure. The intro, first introduction. Introduction name right to one and children. General ga e maja ekadaina flash floods akar ote. Okay, any recent flash floods which have taken place that you can write it. Okay. So, any recent, any recent flash floods in India that you can write it or, or you can write the definition, definition of flash floods. Of flash floods. Okay. So this is one. Then in your main body, Ippudu, main body log Uddha. Okay. In the main body, what you will write? Main body. So main body lo intensity of the flash floods. Ante also you have to, one more thing is that you have to draw the flash floods also. Like you can draw the map here, you can draw the map also. Map in Dante Elante Chudan Ila. Suppose this is your India. Okay, this is your India. Write this. This one you have drawn. Now you have to write where the flash floods occur more. Like these areas, you can just show this map that these areas flash floods occur, these areas flash floods occur, okay, these areas flash floods occur. Right, these areas flash floods occur, these areas, these areas, and these areas, and even the northeast. These areas are all you can draw and say that these are flood, flood affected, flood prone areas. The name and chante flood prone areas and actually. Okay, so types, what are the different types of the areas? Uh, we just we have to draw that in the first main body, right? Tarvata and Now we will write what are the causes for this flash floods. Causes for flash floods. Flash floods. So, what are the causes, children? So, what are the causes for this flash floods? First, I will write about your metallurgical causes. Meta, metallurgical causes. Second, your geomorphological causes. Geomorphological causes. Then anthropogenic causes. Anthropogenic causes so you move to rasa first i will explain about your metallurgical causes what are this metallurgical causes are see so first metallurgical causes i can say the cloud burst phenomena cloud burst phenomena a cloud burst phenomena has increased over a period of time has increased 
why this has increased this is partly related to rising of temperatures they are partly related to increase in temperature due to global warming temperature due to global warming phenomena in himalayan regions warming phenomena in where in the himalayan regions particularly and these are highly prone also himalayans are highly regions so cloudburst phenomena occurs where in the himalayan regions so i can say that these areas are highly related with your himalayan regions so cloudburst phenomena and here only the flat floods there is a high chances or high chances of flat fl flash floods occur these are high chances okay so this is the first thing then second thing about your second thing first this is your first second thing in the meteorological causes are heavy precipitation heavy precipitation heavy precipitation particularly in the coastal region coastal areas okay heavy precipitation in the coastal areas why heavy precipitation in the coastal areas why this is phenomena is related with your increasing frequency of tropical cyclones frequency and intensity both intensity of tropical cyclones intensity both intensity and of tropical cyclones this is one thing then also and why this phenomena because and also and also increasing of depressions or low pressure systems in india both in the arabian and bay of bengal bob bay bay arabian sea and bay of bengal region clear so this is your meteorological causes and also i can say a third point i can write the third point here you see the third point i can write is heavy precipitation in other parts of the country heavy precipitation in other parts other parts why other parts and what are the other parts here the other parts are your central india central india other parts are your central india now why in the central india it is because of your first thing global warming increase of global warming increase of global warming that is increasing intensity of the monsoon precipitation okay this is because increasing intensity of monsoon precipitation precipitation though the frequency has reduced the withdrawal of monsoon see sometimes they there is there is a late arrival of the monsoon late arrival arrival of monsoon and early withdraw of the monsoons draw of monsoons but here intensity is increasing the important point is here intensities are increasing and because of the rising in intensity what is happening the global because of the rising intensity more precipitation occurs in this particular areas so this is nothing but your this is nothing but number of sorry this is nothing but your
this is nothing but your here this is nothing but your number of days number of days of precipitation has gone down but intensity increased that is a meaning so these are the metallurgical conditions you see metallurgical conditions then geomorphological conditions you see the other is geomorphological geomorphological condition causes what are the geomorphological causes devegetation okay or deforestation deforest forestation or devegetation devegetation first one first cause is this then mining mining and because of this you know mining silting or uh, uh, siltation of the rivers silting will take place silting in rivers will occur okay and and also construction of many dams many dams in in this region or across the rivers across the rivers constructions of dams across the rivers particularly the micro and micro dams they reduces the velocity of the discharge particularly here what they are constructing micro and macro dams dams they reduces the velocity of the velocity of the discharge reduces velocity of discharge so that is one point that you can add. and also i can also say the third point is glacial lake outburst floods glacial lake outburst outburst floods floods these are the thing then also the cities and coastal belts there is a change in the uh, you know hydrological cycle you can also say that uh, anthropogenic i can say the anthropogenic here first is due to the encroachment encroachment of water bodies bodies that means you are changing here hydrological cycle changing hydro logical cycle so you can write n number of anthropogenic causes okay encroachment of water bodies uh, then uh, deforestation which is taking place deforestation right all these things which i already have discussed in the uh, about the flooding the causes of flooding so there you can write it so cause for the flash floods is this then the you can write the uh, direct conclusion that there should be a stringent uh, steps that has to be taken conclusion you can draw from the above one conclusion can be drawn that um early warning system has to be strengthened warning and coastal regulation zones regulating of coastal zones then also awareness camps awareness uh, strict regulations on mining mining comma deforestation etc so this from here you can draw the conclusion also okay so this is the intensity of the flash floods increased in the india this is how you have to elucidate it right clear 
So now the third question. Let us see the third one. What is this? The difference between western coastal plains ila. Okay. So ipudu idi idan matter. The coastal area. Okay, west coastal area, east coastal area. West coastal plains, Gujarat, all these areas, Malabar coast, etc. And uh, Tamil Nadu coast, Andhra Pradesh coast, Odisha coast, etc. These are your east coastal plains. So these are what? East, eastern coastal plains. And these are western coastal plains. So what happens here in this case that uh, he is asking what is the differences? Differences in T. What are the differences between them? So let us see. So the first difference is the western coast is generally a submerged coast. Okay, east coast is emerged coast, submerged coast, emerged coast. Anta. So, the width will be very, very narrow. Narrow plains, you can see there will be a narrow plains, and the width is 15 kilometers to 50 to 60 kilometers. That is 15 to 60 kilometers width. Can you cut it? That's why it is called emergent. See, this is submergent. Most of them, this is a submergent type. Submerge type. But here is white plains on the east coast. So, width is 300 km except these places. And here also at Malabar, it is an emergent place. Malabar coast, emergent place. Okay, there is a deposition taking place, not erosion. So, it has erosional features like creeps, caves, cliffs except Malabar which has a depositional future and here we will find depositional features like beaches, sandbars, lagoons, rainfall 200 to 300 centimeters, here rainfall 80 to 100 centimeters and here evergreen semi evergreen forest, here dry deciduous Coromandel will have dry evergreen forest. Okay, dry deciduous. So, Varshal Takwa Kabati, dry deciduous. West coast have natural ports and deep water. They are artificial ports. And rivers form estuaries, river form delta. What kind of cultivation? Plant, plantation crops. Kanikada, rice cultivation. Okay, rice cultivation will be more. Right? So, this is your one type. So, thank you one and all.